this still camera or video? Video. Okay, so like this is a glyceriza from Turpan Botanic Garden in northwestern China. It's Glyceriza uricarpa. And it's, you know, it's like a sec secondary or tertiary species for licorice, but it's cool, it's a different species. Okay, full sun? Yeah, full sun, like all the licorice. And this was a uh, Glyceriza politiflora. And um, this one's got a little chai hu in here too. And um, this one is actually a different remedy than Gansau. It's used somewhat differently. I'll have to look up the uses of it. Okay. And it's got some geraniums. You'll see in a lot number of these pots, there's these volunteers like the chai hu came up. This is a geranium wilfordii, lao guansau. There's more of it right here. And you can see a good old emu tsao popping up, which a lot of the pots have. And as I said, this oxalis, which you have to get rid of. Okay. And there's actually another herb in here. It's Centella asiatica. You can see, uh, where is it? Let me pull some of this crap out of here. You can see the leaf. It's it's like the Lian Qian Sao at the herb gar at learning garden. Okay. And it's not Godu Cola. It's the same genus and species, but not the same variety okay. or clone. And you can even find Jishue Tsao in Bensky, J-I-X-U-E-C-A-O. Um, it's a clear heat toxin herb. I think it may have some benefit for helping with urination damp heat or something like that. And so it's a dispersing herb, unlike Godokola, which is more of a tonic. Okay.